Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a French recipe called as flan pastissere, uh, which is baked flan, uh, the French version of it. It is done actually with a crust. I'm going to do a crustless one, um, a recipe I saw online. And uh, you know, my husband and I, we enjoy flan. We just love the creamy texture, the taste, the flavor, everything about flan. So I thought this would be something new for me to try. So here I have a baking sheet. I've put parchment paper and I just have my uh, cake, uh, you know, the topper. So it's easy for me to release it, the spring one. Uh, so that way I will get a nice round uh, shape when I bake the flan. But for the flan, you need five egg yolks. I have a half a cup of sugar that I'm going to beat together. And then I'm going to bring to a boil uh, two cups of whole milk and half a cup of cream. And once, you know, I bring this to a boil, I'm going to pour it in my egg and sugar mixture. And then add my corn flour slowly and cook it till it thickens out. Um, and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract is what I have. But if you have the vanilla bean, then that's still a better, better, uh, you know, choice. So let's get started. So I've beat together my eggs and sugar. I'm going to add the corn flour to this, you know, so that it will be easier when I stir, I won't get lumps. Oops, not a good idea, it splashed, but, you know, that's what I'm going to do. A lot of chefs may say what I'm doing is wrong, but, you know, according to me, <laughs> the end result is going to be the same. So, since I have a little, you know, since it's a little liquidy, I'm just going to stir it in here and then add my pot milk. And then just like how you would make regular flan, you know, you don't want to cook the eggs, so you're going to put in hot milk and gently stir it, put it on the stove and then bring it to a boil. So let me just work on this and I'll tell you what to do next. So as you can see, I've added my hot milk um, cream uh, mixture to my beaten egg yolks, corn flour and sugar. And I added one teaspoon of vanilla essence and I'm going to transfer it now medium low heat and, and cook this custard till it becomes nice and thick. So you want to keep stirring or whipping the mixture as it thickens out. I have it on a medium heat. So as you so as you can see uh, you know my custard has become nice and thick it gets done really quick so you don't want to walk away when you're doing this recipe it's, uh, else it's going to get burnt um, so what we're going to do is cool this down a little bit I'm actually going to pour it on my cookie sheet and let it cool down a little bit before I bake it because like the recipe suggested to cool down the custard else it will split when you're baking baking it in the oven so this is the final product the flan uh, and what I had to do was I let the mixture cool down uh, for about 45 minutes under the fan and then I baked it in the oven at 425 for 35 minutes till it kind of nicely browned on top and you can see I'm going to let this cool down completely. Um, the recipe suggested to cool it in the refrigerator overnight. And then all I'm going to try to do is release this pan on top and enjoy a nice slice of French flan. Hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thanks for watching. Just a quick update. So I cooled down my flan and I took off the, you know, the ring. And this is what is the final product, the crustless French pastere. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But, you know, the French baked flan looks awesome. It's crustless, but it has its own crust. And I can't wait to dig in. And if you can get a good picture, it's got this lovely caramelized top. And like the recipe suggested, it didn't bubble up. It didn't split anywhere. So it was a perfect flan. Thanks for watching.